how to fill your event using Facebook ads. Guys, Kim here from Your Social Voice, and today I wanna to talk to you about a subject because we do it so much here at Your Social Voice, which is how can you fill an event using Facebook ads? Now, first off, I wanna talk about why you would wanna fill an event at all using Facebook ads. Well, because let's just say that you are a coach, consultant, expert, marketer, whatever you are, the most ideal way for you to get better bang for your buck is to get in front of more people. And what's the best way to leverage it? Events, all right? Now you can also do webinars and things like that online, but they don't really build as much connection. They don't build as much interaction with your prospective clients and you, hence why events do so, so well. Now, I really wanna to touch on first, what type of events could you have? So there's three different types. So number one is a free event. Right, so it might be a free two to three hour event where you share some content, you share some strategies, some tactics with your prospective clients, and then from there, you make an offer for them to do more with you. That's number one. Number two is a workshop style event where you might charge anywhere from $17 to $49, $89, $99 for a few hours, maybe four, five, six hours with you where they come along, they learn, you give them some great takeaways, similar to the first. However, obviously, again, you wanna be offering your products and services. And then number three, the third, is where what you're looking at doing is you're looking at selling into a large event. When I say large event, similar to we just had Certified Ballers Live. Every single one of those tickets, bar maybe three, was actually sold by picking up the phone and calling people that came from, you guessed it, a Facebook ad. So when you're looking at these three different key areas, first of all, you know, before you can go into what type of ad you wanna run or anything like that, you need to fulfill, you need to fulfill and choose which event type you're going to run, right? So for ease of explanation, so I don't have to spend an hour here with you guys breaking it down, let's say we're gonna choose number one being the free event, okay? Free event that we wanna fill using Facebook ads. So first thing that we wanna do, we wanna do two different phases. Number one is an awareness phase. Now in this awareness phase, you're going to create a Facebook event on your business page. Now the reason that we wanna do that is because we wanna build up awareness inside of our warm market, inside of our warm audience where people already know who we are, they know what we do, we wanna give them the first option to come along and to be invited. So then what we wanna do is once we've created that, so first step one, create the event. Right? Step two is we're going to promote that for event responses. Now, we're not anticipating that this is gonna get anyone there. The reason why we do this is so we build a warm audience of people who know we have an event coming up. Because then what we're going to do is that we're then going to send our actual offer to come to the event to them separately. So step one, set up an event on Facebook. Step two, promote that event for event responses. Then step three, we go into actually promoting the event. So within that, you're going to need a couple of things. What you're going to need is number one, a ad strategy, number two, a landing page or funnel strategy, and number three, a conversion strategy, right? Everything is in three today, guys. So number one, ad strategy. You're going to want to bid for conversions. The campaign type that you really want to use is a conversion campaign. So what you need to do is number one, set up your ad to go through and be a conversion objective so that you can track where people end up. Because we don't wanna just send traffic to a page, we don't want just engagement or event responses like we did last time. What we wanna do is we wanna tell people, we want Facebook to know that we want people who will register for our event. We want people who are gonna to get to that thank you page after they've entered their details for us. So that's what we're going to do to start off with is set that up as our part of our ad strategy. Now, we wanna go for at least three audiences. Number one being our warm audience, including those who responded to our Facebook event. Number two, we wanna do a lookalike audience of people who we know are either been customers before or something like that. And then number three, we wanna go through our general broad audience, which might be interest-based targeting, geographic-based targeting. And that's the three layers that we're going to use to bring people through to our landing page. And this is where step two comes into place, where we actually start looking at our funnel strategy. Now, you could just have a free event, which is cool. No harm, no foul. Just set up a free event, that's not a problem. But what we wanna do is, as best possible, we want to monetize this free event. We wanna monetize and create what we call a SLO, a self-liquidating offer, where every single person that registers has the opportunity to ding, 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 become a VIP. And that is really what we wanna focus on here. So if we get VIPs coming in, 
and you might give them front row seating, extra um, benefits with a ticket, maybe a book, maybe it's a workbook, maybe it's time with you, whatever it is, they have that option to take up a 49, a 27, whatever number you wanna choose, a, a upsell, an opportunity to become a VIP. If you get a few people buying those, number one, you know they're gonna show up. Number two, you get to liquidate a little bit of that ad spend. And number three, most likely they will buy more from you. Right? Most likely, asterisks again. Most likely they will buy more from you. So if you set up that funnel strategy right, then you're gonna have the best chance of success. So number one, you need your ad strategy. Number two, you need your funnel strategy. And then number three, you need to ensure, you absolutely need to ensure that you have that conversion mechanism, that sales, that sales strategy. Because obviously, yes, getting people to an event is cool. And absolutely honky-dory, that's fun. However, let's just say that you have 100 people register. On average, 30% of those people will show up. So 30 people out of the 100. 70 didn't show up but they were still interested in your product or services enough to register. So what does that mean for us? It means that you also need to have a phone follow-up process. So number one, phone follow-up process, and number two, on the sales mechanism side, you need to ensure, you absolutely need to ensure that you go through and you follow up with anyone who attends and doesn't attend because there's gonna be money sitting there just waiting for you to capitalize on that opportunity so that you can grow your business and utilize events on Facebook to get even more clients in. So let's do a little bit of a recap because I know there's a lot of information in there for you guys is number one, you need to set up a event strategy on Facebook. Number two, you need to be able to go in from that event strategy. You need to go in there. You need to select and make sure that you do the right targeting and you set the right objective using our three audiences and the conversion objective. Then number three, you need to make sure that you have a sales mechanism, a conversion mechanism being phone calls on the follow up and after anyone that shows up buys or doesn't buy. If you do that properly, you follow that process, you can fill events. You'll be able to fill events using Facebook with ease. Now, can that apply to the other th other two options that we mentioned before? Because we have a free event, paid event, and then like a high ticket paid event. All three of those can be used and done with the exact same strategy. All you have to do is just adjust it and probably increase your ad spend. But if you follow it, I know for a fact that it works. That's why you should use Facebook to fill your events. That's how you can do it. And that's exactly what you should do. Now guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, right? And always, 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 please comment and share and let us know what you thought. And if you did like it and you wanna see more, make sure that you subscribe so that you see this before anyone else. Guys, my name is Kim Barrett. Y'all have been awesome. Adios.